Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about the Holocaust show, which is one of the most mysterious and dreamy sounding shows in music. Let's get right into it. The Holocaust show is something that you would usually hear in a flashback sequence, in a movie or animation. So why does this show sound so, as we call it, dreamy or mysterious? Now the majority of the music we hear today is based on the major and minor scale. Now what we know as the major and minor scale are actually a combination of whole steps and half steps. And these combinations are what give the major and minor scales their characteristics. However, as the name suggests, the whole tone scale is only made of whole tones or whole steps. So there is no semitone or half steps in this scale. Now, because of the combination of whole steps and half steps, and the existence of the leading tone in major and harmonic minor scale, we constantly have the tendency to hear the music eventually resolve to the root notes of that major or minor scale. But because of the symmetrical nature of the whole tone scale, there isn't actually a root note. So in other words, all the notes are equal, which is why this scale has such a dreamy and floaty kind of feeling. So usually, whole tone scale doesn't evoke a sense of progression and the need to get to somewhere, which is why it became so popular between the 20th century impressionistic composers, such as the music, Another interesting thing about the whole tone scale is that unlike the major and the harmonic minor scales that usually have only one tritone, the whole tone scale has actually three tritones. But because of the whole tone nature of the scale, those tritones never resolve. So they're kind of just there, existing which emphasizes even more on the mysteriousness and eeriness of the scale. Now, the last thing I want to point out in this video is that there are only two possible combinations of the whole tone scale. So there isn't much variety when it comes to modulation or key changes. As you can see here, one of the scales starts on the note C and the other starts on C sharp. If you put any of the 10 remaining notes as the root notes, you will end up with one of these two scales. The only difference is that you've just changed the order of the notes, but the scales themselves haven't changed. Now, here's a short theme I've written in the whole tone scale to give you a general idea of how it sounds. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. And with that, I will see you in the next one.